Hello everybody, welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. Today we're at Ronerville Airport in Fortuna, California, and we're going to take the PA36 Pawnee Brave 375 out for some crop dusting this morning. It's around 7 a.m. Now this is uh, aircraft by Alabeo. So much detail in this, as you can see the the uh, dirt and scratches all over it, and then of course it's fitted with the, the sprayers so we can spray the uh, fields out there. And uh, it comes with a few versions without those attached, so you have both. So we're going to get the plane started up right now, mixture full rich, and uh, it's just uh, get the battery on, and then there's a push to start button off to the right here. And that'll get you going. It's the Orbex Airport, uh, one of my favorite airports up in, the deep, pretty deep up in Northern California. I believe it's near Humboldt County. And a perfect place to do a little bit of spring. Alright, so we're going to get going. We're going to taxi over to runway 11. And uh, that's where we'll be coming in and out of two. We'll, we'll probably be back at the airport in about 30 minutes after we take off. So it'll still be runway 11. Um, but yeah, I was inspired to do this uh, by, I was checking out some crop dusting videos on YouTube, and I'll leave a few in the description and the comments, and um, it's some, actually, it's actually some pretty intense flying, and um, I guess, not that I had no idea, but I just, it's something I had never really looked into before, so I, th I saw it and I thought, I want to do that, I wonder if you could do that in the simulator, and I did a little searching on Google, and I found that they do make a crop duster for uh, prepared. So went ahead and got that. It's about twenty dollars. Um, but I plan to use it a lot. I want to do uh, some crop dusting in some different locations. If you guys have any any uh, suggestions, um, go ahead and leave me a comment. And if the farm that you uh, pick pans out is actually in the simulator and looks good and stuff, I'll. I'll give your uh, your comment a shout out in the next video that I do some crop dusting. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I'm probably gonna just keep doing some stuff up in Northern California. A lot of farming out there. Uh, SoCal too. But I want to do uh, more of these videos. Definitely. This is my first time. First time actually taking this aircraft out, and then first time trying to fly a uh, like a crop dusting pattern. Um, but like I said, it's actually some pretty intense flying. It, once they spray, they basically pretty much they don't waste any time they turn right back and spray the other way you know and, and the the video I'll leave in the in the comments or description um, the guy he actually turns so sharp each time that the stall warning comes on and uh, he's okay with that you know it's just part of uh, getting the uh, the right turn he says so yeah it's some, it's some interesting flying I don't really see too many people simulate this so I thought I'd give it a shot I'm all for obscure. So, all right, we made it over to the runway. We're about to turn on, and we'll be out of here. It's going to be a right traffic pattern, and then that'll bring us straight out to the farms. I think this is one of my favorite airports just because I love the scenery that surrounds it. You got uh, little creek beds, rivers, nice mountains, a lot of trees. Just a beautiful area to go out flying. Made some changes to my shadows so it looks a little nicer as we pass by the sun. have all that for download on theflightsofdeck.com if you're interested. All my settings are over there.
And I noticed um, I don't really get a frames per second drop when you put the spray on. They've actually animated it correctly. It's not just like the smoke animation. It's the whole the whole spray coming from the wings. And uh, I don't see a, a decrease in frames on that at all. So that's uh, definitely good news. Next thing I want to try to explore is forest fire fighting because California and Nevada gets a lot of those and uh, either to fight them with helicopter or aircraft I need to see what's out there because that would also be fun to do. I just don't know if the fires would be simulated. So you can definitely have an aircraft that uh, simulates dropping the fire retardant but uh, I don't know about the fires. Alright, so we're coming up on our first field, and it's going to be right in between these two tree the beds, tree lines, so I'm going to use that as a reference. Now you have to get really low, and sometimes it's uh, easier said than done. The plane will want to lift up a little bit, so I adjust your trim. I'm doing this with a yoke. I have a stick, but I keep forgetting to use it. You know, this is definitely a, a stick and rudder type of plane little bit harder to do with a yoke. Right, spray on. Then pull up, and then uh, we got these houses up here. I'm going to make the turn before the houses. So go a little bit left to widen it out, and then sharp right. These people are trying to have breakfast and drink their coffee this morning, and we don't want to disturb them even though they probably hear it a little bit, if they were real. Alright, second pass. Not too good on the lineup, but we're going to get the uh, most of the left side here. Almost start spraying right as we hit the tree line. Right now. That wasn't the best lineup. And uh, a little hard on the stick. Or yoke. It was be easier with a stick. And then again, left and then sharp right. But um, the step of flight is definitely, it's not boring. It might be boring to watch, but it's not boring to do. And um, kind of takes some skill. Alright, let's try this lineup again. We get a nice lineup this time. Alright, so that's, um, that's spraying the field. We're going to head back to Ronaldville Airport now. And that'll be it for the morning. 
like I said, guys, if you have any uh, farm suggestions, just uh, shoot them in the comments. And uh, like I said, if it pans out to be good, I'll give you a shout out in the, in the video that I do that. Alright, so the airport's off to our left here. It's also interesting how the airport kind of sits higher from the rest of the, the area out here. We're sitting a little high right now, we're actually not lined up with it. This isn't the best way to do the approach, but I'm just going with it. I had to uh, pause to go do the replays, because if you go too long with the replays, stuff weird stuff happens with them and, and they don't work, so I kind of came back to it when you're really close to 11, but we're making it in. A little bit of a bounce, but we made it down the middle. Not too bad. I've never landed this one before. And uh, I haven't been in a tail dragger in a while, actually. Also. I'm just going to go to the end of the runway. Show you the replay. I'm going to go ahead and park it. Shut it down. Go get some breakfast. Better way to spend a Sunday morning. Park next to the Chevron truck, and uh, that is where this flight is going to end today. Hope you guys found it interesting. I find this step flying very interesting, and uh, make sure you check out uh, some of the crop dusting videos on YouTube. Pretty entertaining stuff if you if you happen to like aviation. I like all types of aviation, so I try to mix it up and uh, do what I can, but. Definitely, you have not seen the last of the crop dusting. So, engine is shut down, and we're calling it a morning. You guys uh, take care out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.